How did I wind up trading two EX cards for 16 holes? I'm Specstar, and this is a card story. Before I dive into this, I want to let you guys know that one of these hole cards could be yours. You have a choice to select one out of four if you are the winner of the giveaway that is linked in the description. But it's going to be a it's going to be relatively quick, so get in while the getting's good. Now, picture the time, August 30th, 2004. The number one song at this time, Lean Back by the Terror Squad. By the way, wearing my Ancient Muse shirt in honor of DBC Ryan, we talked about it last night and I thought it would be appropriate while doing this video. So the set at this time is Fire Red and EX Fire Red and Leaf Green. The chase card, as per usual, Charizard EX. When is Charizard ever not the chase card? But if you were able to get this particular Charizard, then today, my friend, you are $1,100 flush. Because that is what the Charizard's value has ballooned to today. Now, kids back then are pulling to find Charizard along with the other starters EX and the legendary birds EX, which plays into the story of the video today. The two cards I wound up trading were Venusaur EX and Articuno EX. Venusaur was in relatively rough shape. Still a very cool little card. I'll have the links to the Articuno and the Venusaur in the description. I don't have the cards on me because I did wind up trading them, but you guys can check them out, even get them if you want. Now, the Articuno, I don't have the card, but I have this. It's one of my Articunos. It comes with Zapdos and Moltres, but just pretend they are not there, and you basically have an idea of what the card is. So, uh, with these cards there, um, Legendary Birds were featured along with the starters. The Articuno is one of mine. They were secret rare, and this Articuno that I got was actually just... Sitting in someone's old collection, lost away for 17 years, forgotten. Uh, its shape wasn't perfect, but it was still a really beautiful card. I think because it wasn't in perfect shape, the owner didn't really think too much of it, and I only got it for 40 bucks. And I was able to get quite a good return investment based on the value of the hose I got in exchange for it. So, um, the owner... The new owner I found for it, the guy I traded to, and this is one of my favorite parts because this guy I know is going to take a lot better care of it than the guy I got it from originally because he had the Zapdos from that set in a slab. So he knows what that card's worth and he's taking great care of one just like it. And I, I just love the idea of a card that people were so excited to find 17 years ago that had been forgotten finally starting to be appreciated once again. And we we would wind up talking. He would show me some of the cards he had so I could kind of pick out which ones I'd be interested in trading for. And I happened to mention to him that one of my favorite Pokemon was Ho. And he showed me all the Ho cards he had. And we talked a little bit. He wound up saying, well, for these two cards, how about the Ho's? And I said all the hoes and indeed my friends it was all the hoes and i am going to show you if i can get my big fat finger out of the way what all the hoes looks like now we're gonna start with my favorite hoe right here shining hoe i just want to show for you guys the effect the effect of it with the light it kind of goes through the hoe and it just looks different in all sorts of different angles. It was, of course, Shining Ho being Shiny Ho. And I got another Shiny Ho here. Some of my favorites. It's one of the better looking Shinies, if you ask me. Then we got this little rainbow one here. Another really cool effect. We have this Ho here. With some different rainbow color thing going on in the background. I don't even know what's going on in the background with it there, but I'm into it. We got this hoe here with a similar effect to the one I just showed, actually. Hoe cards, I find they've got a different look to them. They're always doing something 
colorful and bright that they really emphasize the rainbow factor of Ho. And that's why Ho is some of my favorite cards, and that's why I was looking to get Ho cards. This one isn't spectacular, but even this I still think is a cool looking card. Normal, of course, because that's what represents flying in the trading card game. Now here's an e-reader one, which I thought was cool. Of course, the e-reader, an old thing that people could use their cards and hook them up to this system. It is no, it was not in for very long, so e-reader cards are rare, and they've just become even more cool. Uh, the e-reader is not popular, but just the fact that they were such a such a big part of the cards, and there's so few of them. We got another ho here, full art GX, a newer card. We've got this one, and I actually have two of these ones. Not a very valuable card, but I still think that it's a cool looking card. I mean, they just, they go full out with the Ho cards. They go all the way in when they make these things. This is the bottom of a two part card. I don't have the top, but you can see that they really went and made Ho look realistic with this one. They went right into the theme of it being a phoenix and went all the way. Now, this one, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they got a little bit of a sparkle thing going on, even as if it was like a reverse holo card, but it's just a regular holo one. And I actually have three of these. Now, the cards I'm going to get to next are particularly interesting, because if you win the giveaway, you will be able to choose one of these four. One will not be mine, it will be yours. And the first one that you can choose from is this. If you want to have that big dick ho energy, you can see ho and the burning tower in the background. Very cool little effect going on. It's a fire energy. Play Pokemon. And I do indeed play Pokemon. This ho, which I had and showed and talked to you guys about earlier, the one with the little sparkle on the bottom, little rainbow sparkle. And then these guys are signatured by their very cool fiery background. And I'm not going to drop my phone here. I'm not going to drop my phone. And this is the final one here. So I got all these hoes here. Uh, together their value, 200, 300 bucks, which considering I only paid 40 for the Articuno is pretty incredible value. Uh, but also it's that I got to take an Articuno that wasn't, appreciate it and find someone who's really going to appreciate it. So that's what I thought was really cool about the trade. But what you guys might find cool about the trade is that it could be traded right along to you. I want to thank you guys for watching. And this has been a card story.